Welcome to the Management Minute, presented by ManagingScrupulosity.com. Helpful pastoral guidance, intended to encourage the effective management of your OCD and scrupulosity. St. Alphonsus and Scrupulosity. When you reflect on the life of St. Alphonsus, you soon realize that he was a man of great passion and desire. You come to an appreciation that his energy was fueled by a conviction that redemption offered by Jesus was intended for all people, especially the poor and those who are often ignored and marginalized. Finally, somewhere in the reading and the reflection on his life, I also believe that you can celebrate his pivotal insight. The only thing that was denying people their share in the reality of the gospel was the fact there was no one to preach it to them no one to bring them to an awareness of God's love for them. As a result of this passion, he founded the Redemptorist, and Redemptorist attempt to continue to energize the church and the people of God with the conviction of plentiful redemption for all. However, and it is a wonderful characterization of a saint, the flip side of his story is perhaps even more amazing. St. Alphonsus suffered terribly in life from scrupulosity. The man who spent his life and poured out his spirit in preaching and writing struggled every day with believing that he was lovable, that he was forgiven, and that God was pleased with him. He was so easily able to see God's love at work in someone else, but within himself, that's where the struggle took place. This aspect of his life has often been downplayed by many of his biographers perhaps because they are uncomfortable with the fact that such a great saint could suffer in such a way. But it is nevertheless true. The doubts, the anxiety, the uncertainty of constant questioning, and the compulsiveness that accompanied this suffering affected his physical health and well-being. However, despite all of his suffering in this daily struggle, St. Alphonsus constantly acted against the impulse in his life to despair, to not believe, to give in to the feelings of guilt and anxiety, and to hold on for dear life to the conviction that he had been redeemed, and that his redemption was something that needed to be celebrated and proclaimed. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why he was so effective in his moral theology and teaching, and why he recognized error and false teaching so quickly. He immediately identified with the untruth that was being preached and became determined to offer an effective remedy to combat it. Sensitivity, after all, can be a great gift when it's understood and appreciated as a gift and not as something that needs to be overcome or disciplined. If you wish to learn more about this topic, please refer to the citation that we have provided. Please visit YouTube at Catholic OCD for a variety of video presentations on important topics. If you wish to support this ministry, please visit the funding platform at patreon.com, also at Catholic OCD.